What's going on, people? My name is Awesome Rhino Player, and I got a comment on my last tutorial, and it was someone asking me to do one on a volcano. So obviously I said no, just kidding. But here we are with a giant volcano behind me, and I'm gonna show you not how to build it block for block, but instead, I'm gonna show you the thinking and process that goes behind building this volcano. If I made this a block for block tutorial on this volcano, it would easily be over an hour long. So I'll spare you the time, but I'll show you a little bit of the framework, the texturing, the ground blending, a little bit of everything that went into this volcano. I'll show you all the processes. If you guys want to copy the floor plan or the dimensions, you guys can. But I also included the block palette. It's a very small palette because there's not that many different blocks that went into this build. But anyways, I'll include a lot of timestamps in the description and in the comment section. But let's get on to the video. Yeah. So for every corner of the outline of your volcano or mountain, we're going to add the framework. So for we'll do this big corner for now, but we're going to add red concrete to outline the wiring and eventually it'll connect to the top there but also on the other corners you can connect them to each other so for example this smaller corner over here will connect to this one so that it has this V shape here and then at the peak of that one you just continue it to the top of your volcano with the frame that looks kind of like this, you can already tell what the volcano is going to look like from this shape. But I'm going to go ahead and do the framework one more time so you guys can see. It's There's no specific plan here. It's just all like uh, motion lines. You're basically just randomly placing lines that look good. That kind of seem like they have a purpose and connect towards each other. So just go ahead and keep building this up and then you can go ahead and just connect uh, any strings together like these two I'm gonna go ahead and connect them and see how that looks I'm gonna keep it that way but going over to this side it looks pretty good too all right, now that you finished your outlining of the volcano, you should end up with something like this. It looks already awesome. So next step, we're gonna take our stone and on top of the red wiring or the outline, you're just gonna place some stone. And after you place it on top of your red blocks or whatever color you choose, go ahead and make sure that whatever stone you place on top ends up lining up with your magenta and purple outline so it should look like this and not every mountain is perfect so you're not going to end up with like a perfect circle that's why we did the framing as random as we did because there should be grooves and gaps and ravines within the mountain side so continue this process and make sure that they all add up to each other and I'll see you once this portion is done you should have something that looks like this Again, you're trying to add stone between uh, each sort of string. So you could have this kind of like um, bend effect, like a, like a dent or something. But it's supposed to end up like a bunch of cracks or seams, basically. So I'm going to do it again uh, one more time on these red concrete pillars, just so you could see. But basically the process is that you're trying to cover up every single red concrete block so that you can't see. And also connecting it to form a wall. So I'll show you what that looks like here. And it's a lot of randomness as you can see because I don't really have a plan here. You're just placing a bunch of blocks and adjusting it as you go. But basically... Just keep this going, add walls, make them uneven, create those little seams and, and edges on your mountain. 
and I'll see you once we're done. Alright, so after placing your stone in between all of your framing, you should have something that looks like this. This is actually like a really, really good shape for a volcano. But after building it, you might have some edges that look really flat or like, I don't know, don't really make that much sense. But all you need to do is really just smoothen it out a bit. You don't have to smoothen it out too much because, again, mountains aren't supposed to be perfect, so or volcanoes. But smoothing it out would give it a little bit more of a better shape, you know? Also make sure that there's no, like, overhanging cliffs. Because, uh, as far as I know, volcanoes are fairly small don't really have those so we're gonna be consistent here and not have anything too different but yeah keep that process going and I'll show you what it looks like after everything's smoothed out oh my gosh look at that jeez Louise okay so after smoothing out your shape your rough shape you should have your finished basically shape of volcano so now what we're going to do is we're going to incorporate it into the ground using our stone once again. But after we're using our stone, uh, we're going to switch to grass blocks and place them so that the grass slowly fades into the volcano. Okay, so I'll show you a small portion of what it's like blending in the volcano to the ground. So basically, you're just taking the overall angle of the volcano and slowly making the angle more flat and flat as you go down until the point of ground level and once you hit ground level it's pretty much gonna end up like this you're gonna end up with something very flat that matches the surrounding hill environment and overall flow of your world I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but I hope it does so just continue this process all the way around and then I'll show you what to do after and again I'll show you one more time how to blend in your volcano to the surrounding land but basically it's just really really simple uh, this tutorial is actually more of like a, a how to do a tip on how to build a volcano but because it's not like a block for block tutorial but I hope this helps you guys, and maybe I'll make more of these like landscaping tutorials in the future. But basically, this is how it's supposed to look. And just go ahead and do that all the way around your landscape. Okay, so after blending in your stone to the ground, we're going to grab our grass. And basically do the exact same thing, but instead of blending it, we're going to blend the grass onto the volcano. So it's going to look like this. We're basically just adding a layer on top of layer of stone all the way until you get to a point where it gets steep enough, like this, where you just spread around a grass block or two, like so. Not too much, we're not going that far up the volcano, but you should have something that kind of looks like that. Uh, when you get to points like this, where it's like a path leading up, I guess you can follow it, but if you ever get to a wall like this, just stop, because grass doesn't spread that far up. Alright guys, we just finished adding our grass onto our mountain and blending it in more with the terrain. All the way around the volcano, and look at that. It looks so awesome. Uh, we even like continued the grass into the water a little bit. Uh, but we have Ronnie over there. Uh, and I think we're going to texture the mountain now. We're going to add texture to our volcano. So with these three blocks, cobblestone, light gray, concrete, and andesite, we're just going to randomly place them, dot them around. And then you can do each um, material one by one. But basically just go around with them and dot them around so that you have a cool little texture like that. Alright, so after not texturing it, 
No, just kidding. Uh, it is textured, but from a distance you can't really tell, but when you're up close you could see the texturing. But yeah, it doesn't look that much different from a distance. Uh, but later on we'll make some changes to the top, and you'll see what I mean in a bit. Alright, we're almost done texturing the whole volcano here. But obviously there's going to be some parts that we missed, but for now... I'm gonna leave this off here and now we're gonna switch up to the inside of the volcano so up here we already have it outlined in red but that's basically where the wall is gonna be you can make the wall whatever material you want we're just gonna do stone for now but we're gonna take the bottom of this outline and then go straight down to floor level alright so after creating that wall around the edge of your volcano top we're going to replace the red with our stone because we don't need this outline anymore. And also I might have forgot to mention that this pillar, like the height of this volcano altogether is 64 blocks tall. And I counted because, you know, alternating between orange and yellow. But also at the bottom here we could go ahead and fill the floor up just one layer of stone. just like that and then flying up to the top we're gonna grab our oak leaves and I think what height can we do it we'll do it one two three four five six seven blocks mm, we'll do eight and then we'll place a layer of oak leaves all the way around we have Ronnie helping too Hey. Then after your oak leaves are filled in, just fill the top full of lava. Oh, he came prepared. So, yeah, make sure every block in here is a lava source when you see something like this. You gotta have a good eye for it. So, now everything's a lava source. We're gonna break a block, or maybe two, to get ourselves underground. Come on, there we go. And then just go underneath and break all your oak leaves. Make sure that there's not one single oak leaf left unbroken. And just like that, you have your lava in your volcano. Okay, so the top of this volcano is pretty straight and flat. You guys can leave it like this if you want, but just for realistic purposes, we're going to make it slanted like the cap of the volcano kind of like this you can go ahead and fill in the parts that are hollow but now is the time where we basically add a slanted angle on the lip of the volcano I'm gonna keep doing this we'll go down one more and then we'll go down like another one right here or something like that. And then, yeah, just basically smoothing out the surface of the lip to make it look nice and smooth. And just like that, I think that's it. We're going to take our gray concrete and basically... Um, Towards the top of the volcano, we're going to scatter these blocks around to create that kind of like burnt effect, like burnt stone or whatnot, you know, since ashes and lava or magma come from the top here, we're just going to create that little effect. I'm pretty happy with the way that that turned out, but I'm going to add one more block in the mix and it's going to be the coal block. And we're just only going to scatter these around at the top of the volcano. We're not going to drag it as far down as the gray concrete is. But only adding the coal block kind of towards the surface. Okay, now this volcano looks sick. Like, really, really sick. So, we're going to finish texturing the inside of it. It's going to be mainly, like, coal blocks and... Uh, the gray concrete 
but then we're gonna add our cobwebs to create kind of like a smoke effect and basically it starts off kind of small uh, go around in a circle but then it gets wider and wider as you go higher and higher and I'll show you what the finished product looks like damn guys okay so most of this building was like improvised so there wasn't like a specific plan that I had but this is just my take on how to build a volcano and if you guys like the way it turned out then leave a like and consider subscribing uh, it was really fun and it didn't take that long to build actually just me and my partner Ronnie here and it just took the both of us to build this within like I don't know two hours maybe three but yeah consider subscribing if you like what you see and I'll see y'all later Peace.